The General Overseer Christian Perfection and Reconciliation Center, Prophet Timothy Hamdele, has admonished the government to return some of the subjects that teach moral and civic education back to schools. Prophet Hamdele will disclose at the dedication of the junior church in his uh, church, uh, the Mero area of Lagos, said that all what the school needs right now are subjects that teach moral upbringing. He advised that it is not too late to return moral teaching back to schools. The guest speaker and general overseer, Christ Apostolic Church Chapel of Solutions, Reverend Tunde Lawal, explained that Jesus Christ has directed everyone to take care of the children and ready to spend anything to bring them to adulthood. He noted that once the children get good moral upbringing, the devil will not be able to evangelize to them. On a part, the mother in Israel, Reverend Adichoke Hamdele, disclosed that the building of the children's church was one of the prophecies the Lord had shown to the general overseer to undertake, and it had come to pass. And a very good conducive environment whereby when you are teaching them the way of the Lord, they will be ready to listen because nothing is really affecting them adversely that will make them lose concentration. In fact, we, in this building we have uh, the children church upstairs, but I noticed that, uh, look, if we must prepare children, I mean, for the future, we don't need to mix them up, we need to separate them, and we need to give them sense of belonging by giving them a place where they call their own, so that whatever you are telling them, you are making them to understand that we are doing this for you. Why? Because of the future. You are our future. And that will be my dream. And I thank God that it eventually come to pass. Pray and patient go together. That's the problem we have. We only want to pray. We don't, we don't want to be patient. And there is a lingering period before between an answer to prayer and the prayer itself. That lingering period, according to Abakong chapter 2 verse 3. So it lingers. Wait for it. It will not lie. It will surely come. Maybe people don't want to wait. That waiting period, what you are waiting for is minute to what is going, doing while you are waiting. So that you need to wait and pray. And they need to face future with the Lord. So today, everything is false. But if you hold on to God, you cannot miss it. And that is why a church like this, in this kind of locality, it is one of the things that catches them young. And that is why we don't think of how much is spent in this. Because we realize that most of them goes out because of all these kind of air deficits. And that's why in this locality of Meron, we try to build something like this. So that when they come, they have no cause to go out. Because they receive the word of God in a serene environment, in a good atmosphere. I hope that every one of us, teenagers, children, everyone, should be able to look up to God in all things and remain faithful and obedient and continue to serve him with all our hearts. And once again, I thank God, I thank our Father and Lord and the man and the people that put their hand together so that the construction of the junior church can be possible.